Hey girl. Hi. So since I've been taking some nail classes, I need some like a model Ooh. to do nails on. That's the only type of school I'm taking right now. I wanted to do something that was gonna, you know, keep me busy because, you know, being stuck at home is not fun. I'm not trying to get my license or anything. I just wanna like learn and see what I can do and be creative. So today I'm gonna be doing Elena's nails while we chit chat. Armando. Hmm? What happened? Armando. Yeah, I can hear you. I've man. been calling you for a while already. You don't even come and answer. I mean, I have headphones on. Like, obviously I can't hear you. Turn the off right now because I really need to talk to you. I'm getting upset. I've been calling you for the last five minutes and you don't an you're not answering me. You could have just texted me. Armando. I would have saw the text. Okay, Armando, turn it off now. Listen to me. All right, fine. The last few months at home have been a little crazy. Everybody's like in their own world, but inside the house, it's just been very difficult not being able to do our normal daily life. Like the kids at school and me having my alone time and then Eileen in school, Armando, Elena. So it's been kind of crazy right now. What's been going on with you? Well, I've been in school lately. Online is pretty crazy. I'm Sienna. So you've been doing online school independently do you have friends no no nothing no are there any cute boys in your class mm, no there's none mm -mm. girl you need to find yourself no, some no friends five. and some love interests once selena switched on to online school i think it was just like a totally different thing for her i mean she doesn't even know about technology at all like she didn't grow up with an iPad or a phone to her face, so it's like, it's just hard for everybody. But for Alina, I don't think it was easy for her. I have a one forever friend, Brandon. Vanessa. Oh. From my new school. Oh, I thought that we were talking about Brandon from your old school. I don't like him anymore, honestly. You don't like him? No, but since you told me about my Brandon. Oh, your I'll Brandon. I'll tell you about your Brandon. What's up with that, Brandon? <gasps> what the heck? You literally said my Brandon? Oh my God, I'm dead. Me and Brandon are just friends. You're just like everybody on Instagram that thinks we're dating. I'm gonna say here, once and for all, me and Brandon are not dating. Brandon is literally my best friend. Since the day we've met, we just clicked and we've always just been friends, like really good friends. Like, it's nothing more. Just friends, eh? Yeah, when he comes to the house, do you see me kiss him? Sometimes you like friend hug him and I'm like, ooh, girl. Does it look like more than a... It looks more like a relationship a... hug? Yeah, it looks like a couple hug. No way. Period, that's it, we're friends. We might make it seem like we're together on social media, but you know, it's just for fun. So I'm catfishing you guys. I wanted to talk to you about your grades. I feel like you haven't been focusing on your grades and I've been telling you for the last week and a half that I need to see your grades and you haven't showed me your grades. It's hard, dude, I'm telling you, like I'm doing the work and stuff, but still, like homeschooling is hard. I don't even see you, what do you do all day? You're in here supposedly in school and then you and then I come in and you're I playing video games. I already finished school, so once I'm done with school, I start playing video games. Okay, Armando, but still, like I, this is getting really frustrating, Armando. You're telling me what I wanna hear, but you're not doing what you're supposed to I do, Armando. I literally am. I'm literally doing my stuff and I'm playing video games. Why are you getting so mad? Because, Armando, you're not showing me your grades and I told you I needed to see your grades because you're falling behind in school and you know it, Armando, but you sit here and you're playing video games like if you have nothing else to worry about. It's definitely been very difficult with the grades because I don't I don't know who his, his teachers are. I don't know how to communicate with his teachers. They have all these programs that I'm not familiar with and I'm definitely concerned about his grades. What's up with you trying to go into college? College? Girl, what do you know about college? I mean, I was really, really looking forward to going to college. And then the pandemic happened. Ooh. I feel like online school is the same thing as homeschool. And you know, I already went through it. Mm -hmm. And it was do. not fun. So I decided, no, I'm going to wait and see what happens. And what if everything clears up, then I might go back to college. But I just don't know if mom and dad are going to be like supportive of me, like not wanting to go to college, you know? Hmm. 
the pandemic did kind of slow me down in a way. I feel like now I'm doing like the minimum, but I could have been doing like the most if there wasn't a pandemic. Since I've been bored at the house just like you. Yeah. I want to go out tonight. I want to go to a party. Ooh. Have you ever been to a party? Well, not during the pandemic, but. Uh, are you trying to throw shade at me? No. I just don't want to stay home tonight, honestly. I just want to get out the house, honestly. I just want to leave. I want to, you know, have fun. I don't know. I haven't been out. I want to go socialize and talk to people my age, not my seven-year-old sister. I feel like this is a time that we need to figure some sh something out with you. And I was thinking about something on top of you having to show me your grades. I need you to write your goals. I need you to write and set up a list of goals or something that you have planned because I feel like you're just going and nowhere right now. It's important for Armando to have goals because I need to know what's inside that kid's brain because I feel like he shuts down a lot. So I want him to write these goals out and like, just let me know what's going on and just so I can figure him out. Like, what, what are you gonna do? What do you mean? What am I gonna do? You wanna go ahead and test me to see what I'm gonna do? No. I'm warning you right now. So don't play me, Armando. Don't try to test me that what am I gonna do? Because I can do a lot of things, trust me. Armando definitely frustrates me and I just feel like just grabbing that PlayStation and tossing it and getting rid of it and destroying it in front of him. It's just so frustrating. He doesn't think that I'm capable of doing something like that. Like you don't understand how, how much you stress that? me out. F is going on in here. All I hear from my room is arguing, arguing, arguing. Yes, you've been hearing me scream because I've been calling him for the last five minutes because I need him to take out the trash and do some stuff inside the kitchen. Uh -huh. But you know what? But he's on his freaking on. little thing and he's like, ooh, 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 playing right there and he's not even paying attention to me. I had headphones on. She could have texted me, called me. I think it's so stupid that I have to communicate with my son through text, through an electronic yeah. device because this kid- I had a headset on. I can't hear stuff. I definitely think that people are getting frustrated. I think we're all just like on edge. We don't know what to do. So we've kind of been taking out all of our emotions on each other, especially, I don't want to say names, but my mom. I didn't even come in here to listen to you guys argue and get the tea. I came here to ask a question, mom, what? Okay. First of all, I think it was don't get mad at me. Just because you're mad at Armando doesn't mean to be mad at me. Okay, well, I don't even know what you're going to ask me, but I'm upset right now. Clearly, I'm upset. You're misunderstood. I want to go out tonight because the, being in the house is just too much right now, especially with you guys arguing. I can't do this. Are you serious, Eileen? What? What time are you planning to go out tonight? Um, Like at 10. At 10? See, I wouldn't even ask that. <laughs> well, okay, okay. Now you're trying to switch it on me. Where are you gonna go? To a party? I mean, you could have party? your license over oh, to a party. Well, I don't think it's a good idea for you to be t leaving so late at night. You just got your license, and sometimes I need to make sure, sometimes I see that you don't even take your glasses, which you should be driving with your glasses. Glasses are so ugly. Like. It doesn't matter. You need to be driving with your glasses. Are you serious? You're not gonna go anywhere, Eileen. I'm sorry, but you're not. Why? Like today is not a good day for you to go out. It's not a good day because he put you in a bad mood. It doesn't matter, I don't care. Really, girl, we're in the middle of a pandemic. You just started driving. So no, she's not going anywhere. For sure she's not going anywhere. It definitely is frustrating because I called it a party, but it wasn't even like that. It was just like a couple friends, like, and we were just gonna like chill, like do a bonfire. Like it wasn't even like a crazy deal, but I mean, Maybe she took it the wrong way because I called it a party, but I don't know what else. Like, it wasn't going to be that bad. How would you feel if you were cooped? Actually, you were cooped up for like four months. Oh, okay. I've been cooped up for 15 years staying home with you guys, okay? Oh, oh my God. God. Now she's bringing it What's back. What's wrong with us. that, huh? You decided no, no, to no, have no, no. us, honey. Mom. You what? decided to get down and dirty the night that you got married. You could not even wait <laughs> for like two days. And that's why I was born. What <laughs> <laughs> does that have to do with anything? Oh, my huh? God. Shut your little mouth you before you get married and you get pregnant within 24 hours too because I hope that that's when you get pregnant. After you get married, honey. Mm -hmm. mm, okay. All right. And okay. you, honey? I'll, I'll do what okay. you told me to do. All right, so I you hope can just so. get off my case already. This is not funny anymore. All right? <sighs> well, cheers to another boring night. Next time, I don't think I'm gonna ask if she's just gonna respond this way. I'm just gonna leave. I have my car now, so. Sorry, mom. Bye. Since I've been cooking a lot more recently in the house, um, I'm kind of getting tired of it. 
So guess what? You're gonna have to take some responsibility. And Why are you shaking your head? <laughs> Girl, you have no responsibility. And I'm gonna teach you how to make literally the easiest meal you can ever make in your entire life. Rice and chicken. Rice and chicken, you got it right. <laughs> Let me tell you, give me some. Recently, uh, because of the pandemic, I found a new hobby, which was cooking, and I ended up being really good at it. Now I'm like the head chef at the house. I am obviously not gonna be living in the house forever. You know, I'm eventually gonna move out. Somebody has to take the role since I've been doing it. So I think it's perfect to teach Armando and Elena. So we'll see how it goes. My style is cutting off all the little extra because that's disgusting. So, right, so you know, cut it. Ew. Throw it in there? Yeah, just it. Okay. <laughs> that's disgusting. That noise, so you have to start cutting in squares. You know how to cut So do I just like chop it like wow? Go, squares, 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 squares. That's a rectangle. You're a rectangle. How is everything going with your dating life? What? Why are you asking? Because I remember what happened last time and it's been a while, so. So maybe. you're curious. I am not, in, obviously not in a relationship, but I know a lot of people think, assume that I am in a relationship, but I'm really not. If I'm being completely honest, I'm actually like kind of talking to multiple guys. Mm, mm. It's more of like, just like not being exclusive to anybody and I'm just talking around, how about that? I've been on dating apps. Oh. I, when I first downloaded the app, it was a joke between me and my best friend. We were bored. And then I started like, you know, just swiping through and I'm like, oh my God, there's actually really cute guys on here. Maybe I can give this a chance. I mean, we're in a pandemic. I can't go out. I can't socialize and meet people. So why not try to meet someone online and see how it works out? It's hard to meet people right now because you're just stuck at home and you're not going out and socializing with people. So yeah, I've been uh, just on dating apps, which I suggest you do when you're 18. So how does that work? You come across someone's profile and if they look interesting and they have like an interesting bio and they seem like a fun person, you're like, oh, okay, mate. And you think they're cute, attractive. Well, everybody has a preference, but I have to be like, oh my God, they're cute. And then I swipe on them. So I swipe right and I'm like, okay, they're, I'm interested in them. And if they also do the same thing to me, then we match with each other and then we're allowed to text each other. So So you can't just hit up any random person. No, like, like if you find weird. someone cute and you want to text them, like they have to find you cute too or interesting at least. Started off as a joke and then before I knew it, I'm talking to like a couple, a couple guys. Yeah. You gotta be careful, man, because what if there's like some sketchy people on there? You exactly, know. that's why I haven't met anybody in person from there because I'm trying to choose wisely. Can you imagine if like mom and dad knew about that? Oh, hell no. I do not have any plans on telling my parents about the dating apps that I've been on because I already know that they're gonna freak out. I think this is something that can get me into some serious trouble if they find out. What are you doing, Rosita? Coloring. Ooh, did you like Aline's dinner? Mm-hmm, I ate it all. Yeah? Yeah. It's good. Rick has been working a lot of overtime and he doesn't make it on time for dinner. So Eileen and I take this opportunity to kind of chat and bond and she's literally the only one that listens to me. Oh, and um, mom, mm -hmm. Armando and Eileen were talking about something called a dating app. And I was wondering, what is a dating app? <laughs> okay. Whoa. What do you mean a dating app? What were they saying? You have to swipe on someone, and if they swipe on you, then that means you could go on a date with them. Really? Is that what they were talking about in front of you? I am a little surprised that Eileen is using a dating app because I don't even know why she needs it. She's such a pretty girl, so I don't understand that dating app thing. And like, do you really need that, Eileen? I don't know. It's just weird for me. Eileen told Armando, you should get that app and try to get girls. <laughs> really? And, yeah. So not only is she on a dating app, is that what you said? She's like, she's like going out with people, she said. And she said that she wanted to go out on a date tonight. Oh, she wanted to go on a date tonight, okay. Mm-hmm. Eileen said that Armando should be like getting girlfriends and stuff and then like 
and then Eileen said she has, she's trying to make like what friends, and I'm like, okay. Oh, so they're trying to get all boyfriends and girlfriends on that dating app. Yeah. One of my concerns is Eileen's safety using these dating apps because she just got out of high school. She doesn't have real world experience, and I just want to make sure she's making the right choices because I definitely don't want her getting into any any trouble. Yeah, but what are dating apps? Just to find a boyfriend, I guess. I don't know. That's odd. I know. I think that's odd too. Not only that, it's risky and it's um, not good. You know, I think I need to scare you so you can get rid of those little hiccups. <laughs> yeah. Mm. I definitely need to have a talk with Eileen because to me it's it's a little concerning. I need to be careful when I ask Eileen about this because I don't want to throw Elena under the bus. Elena is definitely my little birdie sore, so I don't want to lose that. Does your finger get tired of doing this? Do you know something that I don't or what? Maybe a dating app? I randomly hear about a dating app and I just want to know what's going on. Randomly who? Someone. I have little options here on who um, exposed me to my mom, the little mole in the family, which is Elena. And I don't think she could ever be trusted ever again. Make sure to subscribe to the My Dream Quinceanera channel. Like this video if you think my mom is crazy. <laughs>